Namaskar, this is an online tutorial video on determining equilibrium points of nonlinear systems using MATLAB. Course name is Advanced Control System Engineering. Course code is EE305, Department of Electrical Engineering, Tespur University, Assam, India. The speaker here is Manashita, Assistant Professor, Department of Electrical Engineering, Tespur University. So here we begin with nonlinear system and equilibrium points. A system which does not follow the principle of superposition, that is the law of additivity and the law of homogeneity, is called a nonlinear system. In our earlier classes, we had studied that a linear system always follows the principle of superposition. A system which does not follow the principle of superposition is a nonlinear system. So that is a difference between a linear and a nonlinear system. Now what is an equilibrium point? An equilibrium or an equilibrium point of a dynamical system of a set of ordinary differential equations is a solution that does not change with time. So a dynamical nonlinear system can be represented by a set of ordinary differential equations or ODEs. And the solution of the set of ODEs gives us the equilibrium point which does not vary with time. The equilibrium point is that point in the state space at which the dynamical system will stay if it starts from that point. So there is a tendency of the dynamical nonlinear system to converge to or tend to stay at the equilibrium point. So here we begin with the calculation of equilibrium points. Let us first consider an example. This is a fractional order nonlinear model of a permanent magnet synchronous generator, PMSG, taken from reference 1, which we will uh, see later in the reference slide, which is reference 1, as shown in equation number 1. So this is a set of equations that represents this particular model. And delta, gamma, sigma, b, c, and so on and so forth are the physical significance, as you can see it here. The physical significance of Rs, T1, J is given everywhere here till up till here. Now what do we do? We replace all the alpha i's by 1. Okay. So what do we get on replacing alpha i's? That is alpha 1 is equal to alpha 2 is equal to alpha 3 is equal to 1. So in the first case, we find it is D1 X1. That means first derivative of X1 means X1 dot. Again, alpha 2, if you replace by 1, it will be d1 x2, first derivative of x2, x2 dot. Similarly, here it is x3 dot. So, we move on to the next slide as we see. x1 dot is this particular equation, x2 dot, this and x3 dot. Now, here we find there are three parameters, sigma, delta and gamma. For the parameter values of sigma is equal to 15, delta is equal to 0, gamma is equal to 110. Since delta is equal to 0, so this particular term vanishes. We only have sigma and gamma. Now sigma and gamma if you replace it by 15 and 110 and solve the right hand side of these equations by equating them to 0, let us see what do we get. We have replaced the values of sigma and gamma and equated the right hand side to 0. We solve these equations and get this value. So we will get these three equations having three unknown variables, x1, x2, and x3. The solutions will, will give us the values of x1, x2, and x3 as this first set of solution, e1. The second set of solution, we get e2. This is the value of x1, x2, and x3, all zeros. Then this is a third set of solution, e3. Minus 10.4403, which is the value of x1, minus 10.4403, value of x2, and 109, which is the value of x3. Now, these three sets of solutions are actually the equilibrium points which we got by solving the set of nonlinear equations of ODEs. Now, I have plotted these equilibrium points E1, the first point, as in here, E2, that is the 0, 0, 0, is here, and the third point, that is the third equilibrium point E3, is plotted here. Now, let us move on to the MATLAB coding. So here I have brought you all to the MATLAB window, the editor window. First, I have defined the three state variables x1, x2, and x3 using the symbolic command. 
then here sigma and gamma are the parameters i have given all of them as represented all of them as symbolic now i have put out a matrix consisting of solution of x1 solution of x2 solution of x3 okay then square brackets meaning all the solutions of x1 will be stored here x2 will be stored here x3 will be stored, uh, stored here so using the solve command what i have done i have written the first equation sigma into x2 minus x1 and equated it to zero remember to use the double equal to sign okay put a comma write the second equation minus x2 minus x1 x3 plus gamma into x1 then equal equate it to zero then again here i have the third equation minus x3 plus x1 into x2 then equate it to zero comma then i write here the three unknown variables x1 x2 and x3 if the system consisted of four equations what would we do we would put another matrix uh, consisting of the solution x4 here and then continue in the same way and write the fourth equation somewhere here and write here x1 comma x2 comma x3 comma x4 now let us save it and run so let me go to the uh, command window what do i see yeah i got the solutions in terms of gamma gamma minus 1 to the power half 0 minus gamma minus 1 to the power half now this one i'm getting in the uh, in the form of the variables now if what if i put the values of the parameters okay let me put the values of the parameters sigma was 15 and gamma was 110 let me save it and run so let me go to the command window yeah now i get in terms of the numerical values but what do i find i still find it in terms of 109 to the power half so you may get in terms of irrational values and not definite numbers so what we can do in order to uh, get rid of that or to get an approximated solution let me use the command vpa so x1 values of x1 will be stored here using the vpa command which is variable precision floating point arithmetic to evaluate the variable x1 at to at least these significant digits okay similarly for x2 values i have used vpa solution of x2 x3 vpa solution of x3 let me save it and run and let us see what we are doing yeah so i got here x1 uh, values can you see it is 10.44 0 minus 10.44 as we got it in our slides x2 10.44 0 minus 10.44 and x3 109 109 and okay now we know that in an equilibrium point is actually consisting of one value of x1 one value of x2 and one value of x3 so it is e1 is actually equal to x1 comma x2 comma x3 so we will represent it as like this e1 first value of x1 first value of x2 and first value of x3 because here all the values of x1 are piled up here all the values of x2 are piled up here all the values of x3 are piled up here so e1 will consist of first value of x1 first value of x2 and first value of x3 similarly e2 will consist of second value of x1 second value of x2 and second value of x3 e3 will consist of third value of x1 third value of x2 and third value of x3 now let me run and see what do i get How do I get the equilibrium points? Yes, I got the equilibrium points. The first point is 10.44, 10.44, 109. Just like we got in the slide, E2 is 0, 0, 0, and E3 is 10 minus 10.44, um, minus 10.44, and 109. Okay. Now, what do I do? I'm going to plot the figure of the equilibrium points. Okay. Now I'm going to use the scatter command. Why do I use the scatter command? It will plot the points. Not only that, the scatter3 command is used to plot points in 
three dimensional space for instance here we have three axes x1 x2 and x3 i will plot uh, points three uh, points having three coordinates so it will consist of e1 first value e1 first second value and e1 third value okay and i've used fill because the point there will then appear as a colored dot not an empty dot i can use the command hold on to plot the rest of the equilibrium points in the same figure and again using scatter 3 uncomment uncomment okay to plot the second equilibrium point fill third equilibrium point fill then i'm using legend to name or to provide to mark which equilibrium point is what e1 e2 and e3 and then i'm using the we're using the x label y label and z label command to name the axis this is along x axis y axis and z axis okay let me run and see what do i get yes so i get this so if i bring the cursor e1 close to e1 so what do i get here the point 10.44 10.44 10 okay which we already got while calculating not only calculating here but also in the slide e2 is 0 0 0 yes we got 0 0 0 and e3 is let me check it is minus 10.44 minus 10.4 .10 so this is how we can plot the not only plot also calculate the equilibrium points of a nonlinear system okay there is one more uh, short tip if you want to plot only in um, x y plane say along x1 and x2 plane then we shall use the command scatter and in that case we will use only two points say along x1 and along x2 we will use the command scatter in order to plot for three dimensional space we are going to use scatter 3 so we have seen how we got this particular diagram for plotting the equilibrium points also we have observed that this particular system has three distinct equilibrium points e1 e2 and e3 there may be systems non-linear systems which have solutions or equilibrium points infinite in number so let us see an example of that this is an example of a non-linear system having infinite numbers of equilibrium points taken from reference to for parameter values of this the set of equilibrium points obtained are e1 e2 and e3 e4 for different values of z as you can see here z star you will get infinite numbers of equilibrium points for this particular set and another value of y star here you will get infinite numbers of points for this particular set of equilibrium point e3 and e4 let us see how are their shapes for equilibrium point e1 and 2 it gives the equilibrium set is in the form of a hyperbolic curve for system 3 whereas for e3 and e4 equilibrium points the shape is in the form of a circular parabola these are some other shapes of infinite equilibrium points ellipsoid spheroid sphere elliptic hyperboloid of one shape and it's been continued here circular hyperbola of one sheet circular hyperbola of one sheet and elliptic cylinder circular cylinder and so on and so forth these are the references from which we had taken our previous systems reference one and reference two we are towards the end of this presentation almost so the assignment for today's class would be to write a code to plot the shape of a set of infinite equilibrium points of a nonlinear system for any query you can contact me this is my phone number official and these are my email addresses so in these days of lockdown stay safe stay at home take all the necessary protections to keep yourself safe from corona wash your hands wear masks and stay safe thank you